Hello, my name is Chintan and in this video, today we are going to look at how to model the Rolex Learning Center. Now, this is like a public library that is located in Luzan, Switzerland, and this was designed by Sana Architects. So let's take a look at how we can model this structure inside of SketchUp. Let's go. Okay, so open up SketchUp and then press R on your keyboard. Now type in 100 comma 60 to make a rectangle of 100 meters by 60 meters. After that, bring on the artisan subdivision plugin and we wish to divide this surface into various smaller parts so that is called subdivide. So click on this tool that says subdivide and you should see that it subdivides the surface into four equal parts. So click on it a few times. After that, close this plugin and you have this surface that is subdivided into equal parts now bring on the sandbox tools and click on this tool that says the smooth tool and you should see that it gives you a small red circle around your mouse pointer and it only appears when you hover the mouse over the mesh basically so what this again sort of allows you to do or rather this tool allows you to do is to like deform the mesh in the z direction like this so this is what we need so undo that and let's you can see it sort of affects the most in the center and sort of tapers down as you go towards the perimeter of the circle let's change the radius of this tool 30 meters after typing 30 and then pressing enter and you should see that the affecting area sort of grows now move this point up by 5 meters so type in 5 and then press enter similarly for these points move them up by 5 meters as well all you need to do is just click and move it up and the move tool is sort of logged in the z axis so you can't move it in the x and the y axis so you just need to type the number of or the units that you need to move so either minus 5 or plus 5 so here we are moving it up so plus 5 i'm ready for this point plus 5 now for this point we need to again change the radius so let's bring it back to 15 and then move it up by 5 meters like this after that select everything and make it a go now select now select these edges that lie just next to the edge of the mesh so hold down control and also you can turn on the x remote now i have binded my x remote to the shortcut x if you want to get all the shortcuts that I'm using, you can grab the shortcut guide from Gumroad. It is free, but you can also like help the channel and drop in a few bucks. So you can see here we sort of selected a few more edges. So we should deselect these. Select this edge. And try to select this edge again. So like this once you have this selected you can simply copy it and then click outside the group now also we should simply soften this so turn go into top view turn on parallel projection and then simply select all the edges except the boundary and then right click and simply select only the edges and then you can go into the default tray and click on soft and smooth and that will give you like a smooth looking surface like this after that you can paste the edges that we just copied so press ctrl shift v to paste that in the same place and then make it a group now you can edit this group individually so clean the corners of this like this now we have this in place now go into top view again 
and let's make a few circles that will act like the cheese holes inside the building structure so press c on your keyboard to draw the circle and then type 96 to change the number of sides to 96 and then press enter then simply click anywhere and just draw a few circles that will act as if the original structure of the road extending center is now once you have these circles in place select these and simply click on this tool in the sandbox tools that says drape and when you do that when you hover over the surface it will give you like a red mouse pointer which basically describes what will happen when you click it so this tool sort of projects the circles onto the surface and you can basically trace on any shape onto any curved surface using this tool when you click it you will see it sort of projects the surface of the circle onto the mesh now you can simply select everything then deselect the edges and the surface and then press delete to remove the extra geometry that we don't need now you can simply edit the mesh and press d on your keyboard or delete to erase these surfaces now you have this with you after that edit this group that we have and then select everything and using the vertex tool plugin you can press shift v and then holding down control you can simply extrude it by 5 meters like this and if you turn off the x-ray mode you can see these faces are sort of reversed so you can simply select one face and then right click on it and click orient faces that would orient all the faces in the correct manner and then you can select everything and then let's give them a profile so using the profile builder tool you can click on this tool that is build along path and it would create a unique member along all these lines and by this you would have a sort of a window frame going along this structure and then you can give the original mesh a glass material and let's make it a bit darker now you can simply copy this mesh in the z direction by 5 meters like this now double click on this surface so that we can edit this group and tap on the flash key to hide all the members and then select everything and then using the joint push pull tool and holding down control extrude it in the z direction by minus one meters then click enter similarly for this surface select this surface and using the joint push tool extrude it up by 0.5 meters and we have a structure that looks like this so if you hide the axis and turn on the shadows you would see that we have a structure that looks similar to the rolex learning center and this is how you can model this inside of sketchup so i hope you learned something good in this video if you did please consider to subscribe drop a like on the video if you have any doubts you can leave that in the discord server i would also post this exact model file on gum road you can grab that from there and i would see you in the next video till then keep creating have fun